See, you can only love out of strength. It takes strength to love. You got to speak with purpose. We think that our salvation is based on performance. God is not a man that he lies. He don't lie. You be a vessel that God is Because you somebody might need your holy presence to save them one day. Hi, this is Dr. Will Wheat, and today we are coming to you to talk to you about my top 10 untruths heard in church every Sunday. And we're on number two. Number two is Christians are sinners saved by grace. Now that is, that in, in itself, we have been preached for years. I've even preached that untruth. And we would think on hearing that, that is the Bible. That is what the Bible teaches. But that's not a New Testament truth. Um, this has affected many believers. And many believers are wavering in their walk because they believe their core belief about themselves, their core belief about themselves is that they're sinners. That is not New Testament. That is not true of the new birth. You are not a sinner saved by grace. And because you think your uh, core uh, makeup is sin, it would be natural for you to fall to your default net, uh, nature. It's natural to fall to your default nature and be a sinner and sin. But that is not your nature. You have been born again in Christ. You have a new nature. You have exchanged your life. You don't have a changed life. You have an exchanged life that God has given you in Christ Jesus. Now I want to read to you from Ephesians chapter 2 verse 4 and I'm going to read from the Mirror Bible. It says, none of this could distract from the extravagant love of God. He, con he continued to love us with the exact same intensity. This is how grace rescued us. Sin left us dead toward God like spiritual corpse, yet in that state of deadness and indifference, God co-quickened us together with Christ. <clears throat> Sin proved how dead we were. The law confirmed it. Grace reveals how alive we now are. The gospel announces it. Before anyone but God believed it, he made us alive together with him and raised us up together with him. Again, that's from the Mirror Bible. Now, also, the next verse I'd like to share with you is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Now, in the light of your co-inclusion in his death and resurrection, whoever you thought you were before in Christ, you are a brand new person. The old ways of seeing yourself and everyone else are over. Acquaint yourself with the new. That's again the mirror Bible. In Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 reads, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God, or of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul is saying, uh, the old me is crucified. The old Saul is crucified. He was buried. That old relationship uh, with Adam and the Ad Adamic nature was buried with Christ. And when Christ raised, he raised St. Paul and not an old dead Saul. He was new because now he's in the family of God by Christ Jesus. Now in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 2, it says, to the church of God which is at Corinth, to those who are sanctified in Christ, call to be saints with all who, I'm sorry, with all who in every place call on the name of Jesus, our Lord, both theirs and ours. He talks to the saints in Corinth. And the reason he calls them saints, because they were in Christ. He, they were sanctified in, in Christ, and they were called saints, because God has sanctified them by placing them in Christ. That's not your doing. We are placed in Christ by God's doing. And because we are placed in Christ, we are saints and not sinners. We are saints and not sinners because we've been placed in, in Christ. The last verse I want to share with you is found in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 10. And it reads, by that will, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. 
God is calling us sanctified. God is calling us saints because he placed us in Christ. Now, we must not contradict what God says about ourselves, about us. If God is calling us saints, then we must call ourselves saints. We're not saints because of our behavior. We're saints because of our identity. And our identity is found in Christ. And God has placed us in Christ. He co-included us in Christ. That includes you. So what I want you to say after me, say this after me. I am not a sinner. I am a saint. Say it again. Say, I am not a sinner. I am a saint. God has placed me in Christ. And he has called me saint, so I am a saint. Amen? That's who you are. Now, once you formulate a new identity, which is to your original redeemed self, your behavior automatically follows your identity. Well, this is Dr. Will Wheat, and I want to leave this thought with you. God has plans for your life, and none of those plans include defeat. <laughs> People of Greater Los Angeles, Apostle Will Wheat has a word from God that is revealing, powerful, and life-changing. Every Sunday, lives are being transformed by this powerful word from God. Families, businesses, church leaders, and the world are hearing God's plans for their lives. And none of those plans include defeat. It has been said that there have been Jesus sightings in his services. So you owe it to yourself to be a part of one of the greatest movements and Jesus sightings that this city has ever experienced. And you can download Apostle Week Sunday messages for free at nccfc.net. NCCFC.net. Sunday services are at 1 p.m. And midweek services are Wednesdays at 7 p.m. There is faith for your destiny at nccfc.net. NCCFC. NCCFC. NCCFC.